You're about to discover the 10 things that are not covered by your Norwegian Cruise Line fare. I'm Gary Bembridge. This is another of my cruise tips for travelers. I'm just recently back from a cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line and it really struck me there was a whole bunch of things that the fare didn't include. So I thought I would share those with you right now so you can plan and be better informed. So first of all, let's start by looking at what is included with your fare before those 10 things that are not included in the fare. What is included in your fare? Well, first of all, of course, your accommodation is included. The great thing is you can pretty much eat 24 hours a day on a Norwegian cruise line ship because you have the main dining rooms, which are normally the Manhattan taste and savor. You also have the garden cafe, you know, the buffet cafe. You then also have one of the specialty restaurants, which is normally the local bar and grill, which serves things like hot dogs, hamburgers, 24 hours a day. So you can eat pretty much all of the time. Access to most of the facilities is included with your fare. Also really importantly, of course, all the kids clubs are included within the fair, so that's great if you're traveling with kids. But you can access pretty much all of the facilities across the ship and all of the entertainment is normally included within the fair. So you can see the big production shows. So for example, I was on Norwegian Encore and they had Kinky Boots, but you can also see other big West End Broadway style shows. So the entertainment is included, all the sort of music, live music around the ship is included within the fair. So entertainment is included. If you're lucky enough to be traveling the Haven, which is the premium area, you're also going to get a whole bunch of other things. So you're going to get a very special area, you're going to have a special lounge, you're going to have a butler, a whole lot of perks like that within the Haven area that's included within your fare. So let's talk now about the 10 things that are not included in your Norwegian Cruise Line fare. The first thing that's not included in your fare is service charges or gratuities. So if you're cruising in something up to a mini suite sort of level, you're going to be paying $15 per person per day. And that includes kids as well. If you're staying in the more premium suites in the Haven, you will be paying at the time of recording anyway, $18 per person per day. So gratuities, service charges are not included within your fare. You can prepay them or they will be auto charged on board to your account. I mentioned there was loads of things you can eat within your fare. However, there's a lot of options that are not included within your fare and you'll pay extra for. So those are a whole bunch of speciality restaurants of which Norwegian has loads of them and a whole lot of sort of light dining or treat type areas. Let's take a look at the sort of speciality restaurants that you can expect on board your ship. And I'll use Norwegian Encore as an example, but these are pretty similar across all of their big ships. So you're going to have Onda by by Scarpetta, which is sort of the more italian -y feel. You've got Cagney Steakhouse, La Bistro, which is French, Tapagnacchi, Food Republic, which is a really kind of new fusion fun place, Los Lobos, Q Texas Smokehouse, Ocean Blue, the American Diner. So you can have up to nine specialty restaurants. Eating of those is extra. You can also buy packages for the specialty restaurants. You then have a whole bunch of food and beverage places. So one of my big favorites is you'll often find Starbucks on board. You're going to find a bake shop with great cakes, Dolce Gelato, Coco's, where you can get great milkshakes and that kind of stuff as well. So there's a whole bunch of food and beverage places to tempt you to spend your money. All of that not included within your fare. Also very importantly, room service is not free. You do have a charge if you order room service. When I was on the cruise, they were charging $7.95 for every order that you were placing. Now, if you were in the Haven or the suites, you didn't pay for that. But room service does have a service charge associated with it. So the food itself is free. There is a service charge. The third thing that's not included within your fare is beverages, particularly alcoholic beverages and sort of premium beverages. You can get some basic beverages, you know, basic teas, coffees, juices, that kind of stuff up in the buffet restaurant or when you're eating in the main dining room, for example. But if you want to drink alcohol or lots of premium sodas, you are going to have to pay. Now they have their premium beverage package, which costs $99 per person per day. And that does give you a huge amount of choice, but that's quite a lot of cost. And of course you will then have the gratuity service charge on top of that. What the Norwegian rules say is that everyone in the cabin has to buy that package. So if there's two of you in a cabin, you both have to buy the package. And if you're traveling with kids 
in their cabin. They also have to buy the basic soda package, which is about $7.95 per person per day or per kid per day. So that could be quite a big on cost. Of course, you can buy drinks ad hoc, but beverages, alcoholic beverages, specialty coffees, like I mentioned earlier, Starbucks, not included within your fare. And that could be a lot of extra money as you've heard from the cost of the premium package there. The fifth area that's not included is what I kind of call their flagship, their big kind of activities and events on board. So although you get access to lots of the facilities, there's a whole bunch of things that you will pay extra for if they're on board the ship. So for example, they have Speedway. So this is the racetracks where you go in these great go-karts. You'll pay $9.95 for an eight minute lap, you can buy an unlimited day pass, which will cost $29.95 per person, or you can pay for a seven day cruise, an unlimited pass for just under $200. If you wanna play laser tag, you also have to pay for that if that's on board the ship. And the prices were fairly similar to using the Speedway. So the prices were $9.95 for a 10 minute session. You can buy unlimited pass for the whole cruise for again, just under $200. If the cruise ship has the Galaxy Pavilion, so this is where you have lots of 3 and 4D rides that you can go on. Again, you have to pay for those. You either buy a pass or you pay for those individually. They also have a Formula One simulator. And again, you'll pay extra for that. They then also have a premium area where you can go and have a bit of peace and quiet, a bit sort of like a sanctuary that does have an extra charge as well. So those big sort of flagship things that you often see advertised on some of the big new ships, you do have to pay extra to actually go to and use those. The fifth thing you have to pay for, which is pretty similar to pretty much all cruise lines, is shore excursions. So if you want to go out on organized shore excursions with the cruise line, you will pay extra for those. And the price of those varies dramatically from, you know, $50, $60 for some simple tours, right up to several hundred dollars if you're doing something much more big and ambitious. So shore excursions, on cost, and that can be quite a big on cost if you're going on excursions every single day, particularly if you're traveling with a family of a couple of kids, it could be a lot of money that you need to budget for. The sixth key cost is internet access. So they do have two levels of internet access if you want to be able to stream or just do simple Wi-Fi internet stuff on board. For unlimited access to just do normal things like some browsing, social media, email, it differs a little bit whether you buy it in advance, which is slightly cheaper or on board. So you'll pay about $26 per day for that unlimited access. If you buy it in advance, you'll pay about $30 if you buy it on the ship. If you want to do streaming, so you want to watch things like Netflix or Amazon Prime or any of those streaming services, or you want to do things like FaceTime with home and know that it's going to be very reliable, you might want to buy the stream package that then if you pre-book it before you go, that costs around about at the time of recording around about $30 if you're buying in advance per day. And that's up to nearly $35 if you buy it on board. So that could be a big on cost depending on how connected you want to be. The next cost is exercise classes. So of course you can use the gym for free, but if you want to go into the classes, you'll pay extra for classes. And that's pretty consistent with other cruise lines. The next thing you'll pay for is babysitting services. So if you want your baby actually babysat while you go out in the evening. The other thing you will pay for though, the kids clubs are free. If you want your kids supervised at lunchtime, because they close at lunchtime for an hour and they close for an hour in the evenings. If you want your kids looked after at those particular times where the youth club hosts will take your kids for dinner, you do pay for that. At the time of recording, it's about $6 per kid per session. So if you want them to go to lunchtime. So for example, if you're going out on an all day excursion and you want your kids looked after for the whole day because you won't be back for lunchtime, it's about $6 per kid for lunchtime. And again, that same thing for the hour in the evening. So it's not a huge cost, but you will pay extra for that and for babysitting. The ninth area is around a whole bunch of services. So obviously if you send stuff away for the laundry or you end up using the medical center, you will pay extra for those. And again, that's pretty consistent with other cruise lines. And then of course, the other area is shopping. So if you want to buy photos, you want to use the onboard shops to buy souvenirs, you want to buy art, you want to use the spa or salon, or you want to go to the casino, all those things of course are not included within the fare. And that's true of every single cruise line. You don't have those thrown in the fare, as nice as that would be. Norwegian Cruise Lines is renowned for its freestyle approach to cruising, lots of choice of things to do. Many of those come with a price tag. So if you're going on a Norwegian cruise, 
bear in mind that you might get a great deal, but there may be a whole bunch of extra things you need to do, or you need to plan your cruise to basically not do any of those kind of extra things, which will be pretty hard because you're gonna to wanna to do some of those without a shadow of a doubt. Remember, I have many more cruise tips for travelers videos, so why don't you watch another one of those right now?